Good afternoon, guys. I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to uh, put out this information about earthquakes and other world events. According to USGS, about 2 o'clock this morning, local time, there was a magnitude 2.4 earthquake. It was actually stronger, a magnitude uh, 2.8. They gave it an intensity level of 3, which means it was felt noticeably indoors, but not always recognized as an earthquake. Uh, people might have thought it was vibration. Standing automobiles were rocking slightly, and the vibration would have been described like a passing big truck. So here we have the felt reports. One report close by, and then this one a little bit further east said it was you know a little bit stronger going to google earth here's the location of those early morning earthquakes um, the last one was about 6 a.m now this 2.4 earthquake was actually probably a magnitude 2.81 but because of the lack of reports people not sending in what they felt that's probably why they downgraded it and we'll look at the signature of the uh, monitor that I am using is BROM, which is kind of south uh, east from this location, about 56 miles from the monitor. I measured it out so you could see it. And let's zoom into this location. Let me close that out. These are all caused um, by the movement of the plates. Um, yeah, part of the New Madrid seismic zone. Yeah. Tectonic in movement. Yep. I told you as the Earth magnetic field weakens. Um, yeah, we're going to see more earthquakes. I wanted to see what was within this area. A lot of dead trees there. But this is from 2016. So there's the 2.4, but like I said, it was actually a, a 2.8. There's been a lot of movement of the plate lately. You can see here, let me bring this up. And I've talked about um, the tectonic plates moving, moving. Here you can see it's sharper points. Down here at the bottom, uh, when it's rounded, and we got that showing too, shallow volcanic earthquakes. Well, here we got tectonic-like earthquakes and shallow volcanic earthquakes. Now, the New Madrid is a failed rift system, where originally the country was going to be divided in half and split apart. Up over here is a uh, volcanic field. We often see a volcanism along where plates, plates collide or pull apart. Um, if I'm remembering right, this was an area originally uh, an island. The St. Francis Mountains are the only true mountains in the Ozarks. Even though they aren't the highest elevation, the St. Francis Mountains were formed by volcanic and intrus intrusive activity, magma coming in, about 1.5 billion years ago. Well, a lot of people argue about the date on that. And are the eroded remains of an ancient range with which formed the geological core of the Ozark Dome. This means at one point the St. Francis Mountains existed as an island in the ancient seas. Yeah, I did remember right. During most of this period, the Ozarks were more like the Florida Everglades than what we know of it as today. And I will give you a link to it. It'll be down below in uh, the comment or more information box down below. I didn't realize it until later, but today is 6-6-2022. Yeah, 6-6. And there's been a lot of earthquakes globally around the world. The northern mid-Atlantic Ridge had a 5.3. There was also a 5.5. Kermit Deck Islands, which is down there by Australia, they had a 5.5. Uh, Fiji Islands, a 4.4. Tonga, a 4.3. Uh, Tonga, also a 4.9. Yeah, it just goes on and on. Nothing quite as large 
as yesterday there was a, a 6.1 i believe n near tonga yesterday but it's like my goodness there's been a lot and that's just the ones they're reporting the arkansas geological survey has a map of the new madrid seismic zone and the different levels of threats this too will be down below in the information box anyways um the plates have been moving for quite a while and i've done a lot of reports about that see that and it's round i've talked about how these round signatures are um, another indication the the sharp points of the uh, tectonic plate there was another one here but i couldn't find it and we got some more smaller ones up here and i couldn't find those either at least not on this but we'll bring it down and i'll bring this over try and bring it up a little bit okay you can see it's still moving so we'll probably have some more large earthquakes this here is a stream view and you can see we got a lot of very small microquakes and let me bring it up over here too this is the other monitor i'm going to extract that and you can see yeah and let's bring this over we'll make that bigger let's see sharp points and then going back another uh four hours yeah there's more very small earthquakes one there definitely there and let's bring it over yep this is what it's all currently showing so that's all i have for you did you feel it did it wake you up at two o'clock or six o'clock this morning put those comments down below always be prepared for a disaster uh yeah bad things are coming please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye